You're listening to the Reluctant Adult Podcast. If you like what you're hearing, follow us on social media and leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. This is the way. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. This week, from the internet, Disney pulls the plug on a potential The Acolyte Season 2, forever robbing fans of seeing the front of Yoda's head. Plus, Hasbro enlists the toy hunter Jordan Hembro to host this year's PulseCon. So, cool. And, the internet finds toy collecting even less attractive than online trolling. Oh yeah? Tell that to the stone protectors. Now we play the waiting game. Ah, the waiting game sucks. Let's play Hungry Hungry Hippos. It's the Reluctant Adult Podcast. Welcome to another episode of the Reluctant Adult Podcast. My name is Paul, and I am joined, as always, by the man who... Ooh, this place got old man stink. Bill! Hi, everyone. Getting closer. By the year. I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. The Hitman, Brett Hart, and new WWF champion. So for those of you who can't see me, (laughs) I am wearing the Walmart costume in a bag in honor of these uh, NECA figures that everyone is going nuts so over. This is modern day Ben Cooper costume that you can get at Walmart where it's a t-shirt and then it comes with a fun accessory. So my Bret Hart shirt has glasses that look okay. very little like what Bret Hart's actual glasses look like. But, you know, for 11 bucks, really can't, can't, you can't beat that. That's pretty good. Are these, is this listed as Bret Hart or is this just generic yeah. wrestler? No, this is Bret Hart. Oh. There we go. You can see oh the, wow! The Bret Hart. Yeah, well, this, is, this is Bret Hart. It's WWE. It's official. I had no it's official. Idea. Yeah. My uh, my Shrek, local Walmart. The it Ooh. it clown. They got a bunch of good ones. My local Walmart's going through a remodel, mm-hmm. so it has all the shipping containers outside, and you know they're not putting anything out. Oh. And okay. everything's just a mess in there. So. Mm-hmm. I went in today. It was it was terrible. I'm sorry. There's nothing worse than a messy Walmart. Nothing Maybe a messy worse. Target. Target was oh, going through that Target. phase where they were remodeling all of them, and they were all like they had they had to have like the store map up in the store because everything right. was in the wrong spot. Thank God we're past that. Those are some harrowing days. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> this is uh. Well, yeah. that's the show, everyone. Well, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> I was going to say it's a low energy show, but like, honestly, I'm still reeling from the announcement that the Acolyte is not going to get a season two. Yeah, that was Let's take my glasses. That was brought off so up see. earlier in the week that yeah. Disney is not so moving bright. forward with a season two of the Acolyte. Maybe so they'll rename weird. it and call it something else. Yeah, I think there are options. There's no, there's no reason yeah. it needs to be the act. Like, but it's so weird that they would even announce that it was being canceled because I, it doesn't feel like they do that. They just never get around to making right season. So it's people, not like Obi Wan was was not that's like right. renewed for a yeah. season two. They just they just went out of yeah. the way and said, "Oh no, it was a limited series." Everybody, right, right. So they could just they, like, go back and be like, be "Very this clear. Is never. This was never meant to be." A continuation. This was a limited yeah, series. Sure, but you know, people are are thinking the worst because they 
hopped on DisneyStore.com and they typed in the Acolyte and no product came up. They wow. removed all the Acolyte product. But then everyone, or you know, the people who uh, know how it works, was there anything listed for the Acolyte? I know they had the Stranger Helmet, but I, but I think outside of some thing. Black Series figures and... Um... I mean, that's surprising. With Disney Store especially, because mm-hmm. they'd have shirts and everything, you'd think. But people typed in Andor, nothing came up either. Oh, well. So I don't know that this is uh, the indicator that some people are concerned about. But the thing that the biggest concern is that they're going to just take it off Disney Plus like they did with uh, Willow. They are just they think that like they're oh. going to go the WB route, make it a tax write-off, just take take it away and then you'll we'll never be able to watch the acolyte because it was it was never released on physical media yeah you think they'd go that far i don't think they'd go that far that's the concern i don't know i just typed in andor nothing yeah i do star wars but the the stranger helmet was on there the hasbro one's still coming out so you can get that they're right. not gonna i not saw a whole that. I saw a whole like display island of Acolyte product today at Walmart. I probably should have scooped it oh, all up, but I know it's good at limited edition. Where they I, have the figures? I, they had the Black Series figures, but I was like, all yeah. these characters are dead. I don't need them. Yeah, I mean the fact that they canceled it, it doesn't make me want to buy the toys more. I was pretty hyped no. at the end of the, the series, so I think this probably hurts potential sales more than anything. I don't know what the intention was. It's just, it it almost seems out of spite that they're like, it's canceled. <laughs> like, stop talking it's... about it. It's not coming back. Don't worry about it. It seems weird. I don't know. Where do you think we go from Star Wars from here? Do you think they keep playing it safe? Do they see what how Skeleton Crew is going to do? I'm really concerned That's... for the future of Star Wars because the Acolyte was different. And yes, it was. It cost a lot of money. It didn't get a lot of views. And I think that was probably what really did it in. So we probably will just be playing it safe. We're going to get that Ray feature. Not that like Ray is the most beloved character. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you, the problem you with think Star you Wars. get it at this point. Well, I guess nothing's for certain. That's, that's yeah. true. We're getting the Mandalorian movie. That's really going to be a test. If the Mandalorian movie does not perform well. That might that be is it. A huge test. That might that, be that it. That could be it. Pack it yeah. in. Yeah. But I think with Star Wars, it all comes down to the fans. And the fans just like want to be mad. They don't want new stuff. They want the same stuff. And right. they're not willing to even accept anything new or different. This goes right back to that Masters of the Universe Kickstarter. I just mm-hmm. don't want anything new and different. It's scary. New stuff is scary. Yeah. I don't want it. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of Masters of the Universe, did you see that there is a Kickstarter for a fan film for Masters? No. Okay. Someone sent us a message about this, and then Pixel Dan was promoting it. So I was trying to look it up, but... I was my first question is is this allowed? Like how are they even doing this cuz they had they had like they had gifts you could get <laughs> for the different yeah. tiers. Let me look up Pixel Dan real quick and see. Careful there. Uh, let's see what he's up to, Pixel Dan. <clears throat> let's see, let's see, let's see. Is this it? Pixel Dan scrolling through his shit. All right, well, why do that? He is also promoting Brutal Realm. Brutal Realm. These are he 112 is. action figures. It's a Kickstarter. It has been funded. It is happening. Aren't, weren't we supposed to be promoting this as well? That's what we're doing right now. <laughs> but you said Pixel Dan is- was promoting it. Well, I'm just scrolling so through his Twitter. We should be, we this. should be, like Pixel Dan. We are also yeah. promoting. Yeah. Brutal this is, we're talking about it. We're gonna clip it. We'll clip it out. Yes. And put some pictures. So, did you get a chance to look at these? I did when um when the um the sources that be reached out to us and said, "Hey, we'd love yeah. to get a little." They sent us a message to K. Yeah, talk about this. Um, it ends this week, so get in there okay. if you want it. 
Let me see exactly when it ends. It is. Where's my home button? There we go. <sighs> Where is it? Five days, and today is Saturday. So mm-hmm. do the math. Like Friday ish. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Friday. Yeah. Go on Kickstarter, kickstarter.com slash project slash brutal realm. Now, these are 112 figures, but they are some chunky boys. They are like they thick. Are. They are thick. If you like your if you like your men toys thick, this is for you. They're these barbarians. Remind me. Yes. So these remind me of the original illustrations for He Man. Ah, yes. I can that, see that. That had yeah. come out where he was more of that Conan the Barbarian esque very figure, Conan-y. just like muscles on muscles. Yeah. Muscles yeah. on muscles, yeah. So very highly articulated, modern art- articulation, all the joints you could ever want. Mm-hmm. Apparently someone who is from Marvel Legends in, in the past uh, is involved in this. They look very good. Price is very reasonable. 30 bucks for the basic figure. Um, can't argue with that. I mean, can't. I mean, seriously, that's less than a Super 7 figure. Like, it's that's pretty yeah. crazy. So they... Um, they will be available later on on Big Bad Toy Store, but probably for more. So jump on the Kickstarter now and get them for the cheapest you can get them. There's a lot of nice uh, illustrations on here, a backstory, mm-hmm. some stretch goals to get some more characters unlocked. Just a very fun, very professional toy line. Um, we really, we really got to get get in contact with somebody and start working on our oh there's like a darth vader looking guy down at oh. if you if they unlock two hundred and five thousand. what are they at right now 183 so that's we're there we're almost at the darth vader <laughs> the not darth vader deluxe general grim skull i would buy him he looks cool and there's a skeletor looking guy right after that so lots of fun little in jokes and then a female figure all the way at 250 <laughs> way, not, way probably not getting there. that that's the last that is the most that's just, that's the stretchiest goal they have <laughs> it's the female <laughs> figure and the they they didn't even like they didn't even like put that much work into the picture because it's literally just like a photo and they like drew on oh, top of it yeah, they it's knew. like this is it's not happening <laughs> we haven't even like made the mold yet but the 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 male figure is happening so if you want if you want that hop on there it, it looks very good if you like that he-man kind of stuff yeah see we did it we promoted it send us one Beautiful. we'd love to review it yeah right i'd love a i'd love Whenever a physical that comes copy out. of one i'll send love, it back too love, that's fine no i won't i'm gonna keep it'll it. get lost in the mail i'll promise to send it back like i promise everything it never gets into the mail unless it's a teddy bear did, did that guy ever uh send you the uh the pop to autograph not to my knowledge he yeah, must have heard known. anything more I was going to do another okay. contest, but then it's like, it's so much work. I don't know. I Ugh. feel like that was a whole saga. I feel, <laughs> too much, I feel so too slighted by the contest. Why? Ever since, ever since that original contest where I painted up that Lenard alien queen. Yeah. That... Contests don't work. It's like no. when you really plan them out, it's, it's just too many steps. Like I see, like there's always like ringside collectibles is always giving away a figure or something. Right. But the steps are like, like follow and then tag three friends. And I was like, you lost me at the tag three friends. I'm not like thinking yeah. of three people. That t- I can't and then just do much work. People start looking into other people to make sure that like they're doing everything. And then they'll come out and oh say, well, this person oh just God. did this. For real? I did this. They'll I tattle? did this day one. I did this on day one. And they just, they just came in on the last minute and, did this and you picked them. there is there is nothing worse than a sore loser that tries to like disqualify other people in in the contest yeah, just like doesn't make it fun learn please learn that at a, a young age that nobody likes that guy that tries to get somebody else disqualified like let your work stand on its own and don't be someone that follows the rules like to the letter like if you want to go outside the box a little bit with your entry i'm sure you know sometimes maybe that you'll get disqualified but in other times that might be appreciated like, don't be the guy that tries to hold people in the box. I hate I hate that guy. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Just so that we can close the loop on this. Here's the Bret Hart action figure from the episode where he was on The Simpsons. And he says, Oh, Ugh, this place got old man stink. Because he's going to buy Monty Burns' house. And presumably Monty yes. Burns smells like an old man because he's very old and decrepit. But then sure. Smithers reassures him that he has a... A delightful odor 
I forget I think the, exactly the way. A musk, some kind of musk. A musk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then here's Mark Hamill from his appearance on The Simpsons. Oh, yes. What is what is the line that gets yelled at him about Jedi school? He says, you're all talk. You're all tar- talk, Mark Hamill. You never even finished Jedi school. There it is. Yeah. You said it much better last week. I was, I was hoping. I did. I did. I, we need to. We need to energize the show. This show needs some I energy. I just feel it's just like a. It's like a low energy that today. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think the funny thing about this figure is clearly. I don't think we see his back on the show. Maybe we do. Maybe this is accurate. Okay. Or the person that sculpted this has never seen a wrestler before because it's not like a yeah. bathing suit <laughs> back where it's got like the little yeah, cut no. out there. I, I don't that's think you, I don't think you see him from the back. I think he's just like there. <laughs> Someone's like, is that what is that what a single top looks like? Like a bathing suit? Like a woman's bathing suit? No, sir. That's not. That's not correct. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of hope that Jax does uh, some celebrity figures now. I, like these are fun. I want to see some celebrity fun. Simpsons figures. That would be good. I got that Bartman. We man. saw that was pretty sweet. We got the Bartman. Bartman was just yep. he's just like his own case. He's shipping to Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. For their for their holiday reset, I mm-hmm. believe, because people are also finding the smaller scale Simpson figures in stores with with Police Chief Wiggum. So. Be oh, on the is lookout. he exclusive? Is he exclusive I don't, to Walmart? I don't think he is. I think he's mm. just showing up with he's the not. revised case. I okay. think this is just a case revision, yeah, and we're not yeah. seeing like Homer, but we're seeing Bart and Lisa oh. and um, Flanders and Chief Wiggum. Well, Series 2 of the five-inch figures has Homer listed. Do you think it's going to be a different Homer, or it's just going to be a uh, like a carryover of that original he's Homer? Like, he's like the Darth Vader. Everyone needs a Homer. That's how they... That's how they have it I mean, listed. You need, yeah, I mean, that makes He's sense. He's your evergreen figure. But I hope they, I would love if they just gave him, like, a different expression. Like, you could even make him the same, maybe a different accessory, but definitely a different expression, because I don't like the plain look they gave. That'd be a that way to go, is if they just yeah. change the expressions on each one of them. Because then you could get good. people to double dip a little easier, I think. Yeah. They're not going to do interchangeable heads like uh, Super 7 did. Right. <sighs> So, I guess we talked about the acolyte. I'll be sad we did. that it's gone. I think I think the second half of the season really picked up and got me excited about yeah. where these characters could go. And the fact that they're not going to continue that world kind of makes it hard to invest in like any future Star Wars project that's like a new thing because it's like, okay, well, one and done, I guess. Like well, that's, don't get that's too attached to, to these characters. It's a hard thing to say because, I mean, quite literally, this show was the culmination of all the other media that has been presented to that High Republic area Uh, of Star Wars. So there's already established canon and stories and everything else. And then this is just, it come to fruition to the live screen. So... Well, I don't know anything about that. I don't think the general... I don't know anything about it either. I just know Yoda was younger. Yoda's and younger. We saw the back of his Yoda's head. Younger. Back we saw of his the head back of his younger. head. That was the maybe, teaser. Maybe so. that was Yoda. We don't actually know. It's not confirmed. Yeah. I wanted like, the full Yoda. They, we'll why couldn't know. they give us the full Yoda? That was give us the full. Someone's going to say the budget. Give us the full Yoda. <laughs> I don't care if he's a puppet. We're never going to get the hear the tale of Dark Plagueis. It's never going to happen. We're never going to know. I didn't even know he was a Nimrodian or whatever those aliens are called i thought it was just a dude yeah he's not a nimodian he's not no yeah he is he's like uh no, the trade not. federation guys isn't that what no, they he's are the banking he's the he's a moon it's the banking what? clan banking yeah. clan moon olivia moon yeah no m-u-u-n m-u-u-n correct that's no moon star wars this, is, this whole show is literally just Paul researching things. <laughs> That's okay. That's what people like. Why is there no picture? No, no, this is not what he is. Is it? Yes, it is. Yes. No, because he looked just like those guys. What's his he name? He is not Darth a Nemodian. Darth Plagueis. Plagueis? Plagueis. Plagueis? Oh. See, no. No. Maybe. Yes. 
well, you can't okay. argue with this with me. Is it because you're they're like hiding his nose that it seems like he doesn't have a nose? No, uh, no, he shouldn't even have a nose. No, what? So he's like the species we haven't seen. Have we seen these? Yeah, characters before? they were. Yes, of course, they were in the Clone Wars. They were in episode. They were in episode two oh, in the he's Separatist just like a Council. Stretched out, normal looking guy. Yes, <laughs> I thought yes. he was like. I thought he was like the. the and he looks the, a little twisted really by the dark side aliens. of the force. No. Oh, well, now I don't care. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not a he was like I was like, there's never like any like really important characters that are the crazy. No, he's a aliens. he's a mute. I was excited. He was gonna be like a, a Muppet. I thought it was gonna be like a Muppet. I was like, this is no. gonna be awesome. A main character he's is like, a Muppet. Other he looks you. like a Voldemort type type deal. Yes, yes. Well, that's fine. Now I'm glad I got canceled. <laughs> Because I would have like so disappointed when they showed him, and I was like, "That's just a guy. He's just a stretched out guy." It's not Dumb. even established. He was like there, just like creeping on the outskirts. There's like he was just like waiting for um for the strangers, the stranger to leave his yeah. little cave so he could like dig through his journal. That's kind of like what I thought it was what was implied. No. But who knows? He was, he I was don't pulling know. The strings. That was his. You line. think so? This whole hundred percent. He wasn't just there. Come on, that's mm. ridiculous. Because that was the the stranger was his acolyte. Fair we'll enough. never know. To be continued in your imagination, like those they alien cart- comics. Oh, speaking of alien, so I got to yeah. see Alien Romulus this week. I loved yeah. it. I I got to see it I, again. I had which some. Means qualms. I really liked it. Yeah, my, oh, good lord. You see a movie twice. That's that's out of that, that's. Amazing. We might as well be we might as well be getting married at that point. If you see a movie twice, you and the movie. Yeah, me and the movie. <laughs> you, would you marry the the physical role of film? Like, what? Who would be at the ceremony? What would you put the ring? Uh, on? Oh God, who would be at the ceremony? I think, I think the Alien quadrilogy would officiate the wedding. Like the DVD and set, then, the box set. Yeah, I'd have the box is set it there. Shaped? Is it shaped like the alien or something? The quadrilogy? Yeah. No. Is it ordained no. as a minister? Would it even be allowed to, uh, to perform I, a ceremony? Yeah. I think I think it would probably be able to get a um Do you think Sigourney would show up to support she you? She might. She yeah, might. I think she would. She's not busy right now. No, no, she's really not. Do you think she would say, Get away from him, you bitch? <laughs> Yeah, if anyone if anyone objected, I'm like I was there getting married to the movie. Yeah. Do you think that was a little hokey that they put that line in Romulus? And it was I feel like, like such a such I, a bizarre way to say it, like the character yeah, and the situation. No, I feel like I feel like overall, like even seeing the movie again, which you start mm-hmm. picking up on different things, because at that point it's all you're you're spoiled at that point, so you you get fair game to pay attention to anything else that you want to in the yeah. film. Um, yeah, I feel like that one line, it just kind of didn't make sense because it's like 30 years later is the actual line. So maybe if he was just like, get away from her, and then that was it. But it's like... Or maybe maybe she was it would have been even away. better. Maybe <laughs> yeah. he could say, get away from her, and then she'd be up there on the, like, the top being like, you bitch! <laughs> you bitch! Yeah, you bitch! Are you like that now? Yeah, yeah. I think that would be better. Good. That would have been that's great. Much, get that's away much from her! It. You bitch! <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then oh, like, the shit. alien bubbles up, and she's like, ah! Like, like, oh, just kidding, she's there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So things I liked about Romulus, the the character, the android character was great. The change yes. in personality was fantastic. The actor did a wonderful job with that. The alien aesthetic, like that version of the future, like the technology is my favorite future aesthetic where it's like, it's like firmly rooted in what the 80s computers looked like with like light up sure. buttons and beeps and bops but like right. you know, no like really good screens like no no touch screens or any of that shit yeah that's what no, they had it right like nothing's a hologram nothing is no nothing hologram is, like, presented like everything how lies. we have things now nothing's like a tablet yeah. with like a touch no screen ta- it's right all, exactly yeah yeah it's great oh, i love it everything elevators like and that. escalators are still the th- a thing yep it's the best <laughs> yeah um so I was reading people's 
opinions on it and there people liked it some people said it was a little bit too much of a like a fan film because it drew too much from all the different media sure. it was like it was it right. got caught up in itself a little bit and i think that's fair but also you, you kind of like want to please the fans like i think maybe we identified the worst line with the get away from yeah. her, you bitch that was probably a little bit too much we didn't need that i mean didn't help a lot. this this is like i i would say that this is a love letter to the oh, alien sure. films in not in general like pr- not not so much this is like the first proper alien movie in over and close to almost 20 years if not more since um i would say well, since resurrection well, awesome. so it's like you have yeah. to have all those little yeah. callbacks to remind people that yes there were well, movies sure. before this that yeah require well, the I viewing lo- I love Prometheus, but I do feel like trying to shoehorn the black goo into everything is not, it's not like being super accepted. Like people are kind of like, ah, mm-hmm. this again. Like, ah, I don't know. Again. You identified last week a part that kind of took you out of it. And it was the CGI or it's, he's not even fully CGI. It was like, so we're talking about the character in this movie. He's called Rook. He's the Android. Yeah. He's the same model that was Ash from the first movie. Now, somebody right. pointed out something, and I was like, "Yeah, okay." the the orig- the 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 crew of the Nostromo in the first movie, they don't know Ash is a synthetic, correct? Right, right away. So the fact that all. he's now just a model, and there are other ones that look like him, yeah, kind of like doesn't make sense because they probably should have known <laughs> that he was an android if that was the case. I think he was more or less like a spy obviously and then this one takes place 20 years after that so maybe it's so you think maybe he was like the practice. first model okay that's fair that's yeah. fair so they the, the actor who played ash is dead he's been dead yeah they they used a combination of animatronics cgi original recordings and ai to do the voice and right it was very it was very not good it was very not uh i i didn't would say believe for a shots, second that it was happening <laughs> that it was there, there were shots that were good and then there were shot, shots that weren't good the face reminded me of when you ride the frozen ride at epcot and they have the yeah. rear projected faces it just it the no it just and but some people were saying it was intentional because you know it wouldn't it wouldn't look real and even if you go back to the original movie when it's when he's just half a man and it's like an android or you know it's like a puppet sure. or whatever it's, it looks like it looks puppet. bad there's, because there's the technology puppet, there's wasn't portions there. of it yeah there's it's, portions it's of very it puppety that look very yeah. puppety i think so if I, they gave him a little bit more damage to the face i think i would have yeah. been able but to yeah, kind of see it a little bit more like you, you realistically i would say that like silicone masks have come so far mm-hmm. that you probably yeah. could have made one that was damaged and had an actual actor underneath it just kind of yeah. like doing the mouth that, movements and as long yeah. as you damaged it enough as long as you had the general idea that it was supposed right. to be ian Holm maybe they there, tried but... that because it was like so important that they that we knew that it was supposed to be yeah. that same i mean it's not the same character but it's like the android the same type of android so it's like gives you the feeling right. of being that so that well, was here weird. i was um, here i was thinking yeah. that the offspring was mm-hmm a total CG character in some shots, but it was realistically a seven foot seven tall Romanian man who doesn't parade. look that much different from the creature. No, in real he doesn't. <laughs> He's kind of kind no. of just like they saw this guy and it's like, let's just kind of give him the, the, the engineer face and then good to yes. go. Like the easiest shot in the movie. Wild. Yeah, I don't love that all the movies sort of climax with there being like this combination alien that pops up. Like that's okay. been the thing now. Even in Prometheus, they had like the alien engineer hybrid. And I just like I get it. And you kind of need like that final bad guy. Like that's just how movies work. Right. But I don't. I just don't love that trope of where it's like, ah, oh, yeah, surprise. Here's something you haven't seen yet. And it's like, all right, but you had a whole spaceship full of the aliens we like already. Why do you got to do a different one? It's kind of like, eh, all right. I like to think that this is going somewhere because we obviously saw that the alien from the original movie can crystallize itself, if that's even a word, in deep space and become a cocoon. Okay, and that was part of me. to me. Okay, why well, was it confusing? Well, you finish your thought and then we'll talk about that scene. So part of me likes to think that the next 
the next thing we might see is obviously the queen alien mm. was cast off into deep space after aliens. Sure, now, wouldn't it be sure, something sure. cool if this queen alien did this and then fell to a planet mm -hmm. as a meteorite and then came out <laughs> and wreaked havoc across yeah. the world? You got cute little squirrels that turn into aliens. Yes. Right. So this movie begins with them capturing this chunk of rock. Is that right. like that's like in the past because the alien so, in that rock is the one that destroys the ship that we come across or the so the, it's not the, a ship, it's whatever it is. So the Rook character t tells you that obviously it's 20 years after the Nostromo incident mm -hmm. and they find the wreckage of the Nostromo probably utilizing right. its last known location and everything like that um, 170 days before. Okay. The events of of yeah, uh, Romulus. Romulus. Yes. So that scene where we see them cutting the rock in half and taking the alien out is the exp explanation. So, like, when we see Rook all messed up, we look up and the, the alien is there. Right. That's the dead one that was in the meteorite. So that's technically the Correct. same alien. What are they called? Big Chap? Is that what he's called? Or she's yes. called? Yes. Yes. It's still got the heart so that was a little confusing. chest and everything. I was a little confused about how that worked. Um, so what was going on there? Like the alien froze in space and it was able to survive and then they, they woke it yeah. up again? Yeah, they went into this, just this explanation that obviously if it's a perfect organism, then a perfect yeah. organism can survive by any means without sure. food, without air and everything. So yeah. we find out that there's a new, a new portion of the alien life cycle where it can self-preserve by cocooning itself. Mm. How did they get all those face huggers? Where do the face huggers come from? I thought now I had a fun little theory thinking that they went to LV426 and harvested mm. those face huggers from the derelict ship. Mm -hmm. But that kind of negates what happens in aliens to Newt's parents who go to that same ship and get a face hugger on them. So I think they said that they might have like reverse engineered they like three D printed them, them, right? Correct. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Which they like had the, the little the little clean room. Um, yeah. Eggs like they were just well, they throwing this, them in the that. screen. It was like you know the printout or whatever on on. It's like, would you like to print? <laughs> your, yeah. Your face hugger and put it in the little plastic bag. The alien life cycle is confusing. What is like the start? Does an alien have to start from a queen? It's like what came first, chicken or the egg? Like the face no, I hugger. Think that's exactly the argument. Yeah. Okay. So like, so it, I've heard I've heard multiple things with the aliens. Like, I've heard that a drone in 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 cer certain circumstances can become a queen just to mm. just to create things. Um, in the original Alien, it was seen that like Tom Skerritt's character and Harry Dean Stanton's character were transforming into eggs before they came mm -hmm. back out and said no, they were just being cocooned up. Oh. in in the walls but originally they were supposed to be like turning into eggs oh that would hatch yeah. what a queen or face or huggers a... the face huggers so the face huggers come out of the eggs so the queen lays Correct. the eggs and the face hugger comes out of the eggs yes and then the face What's... hugger why wouldn't deposits... the aliens why wouldn't the queen just lay the eggs and make the aliens why got all these these intermediate steps i don't know perfect species my ass that's a lot of legwork jesus yeah, but then it, it lends to adaptability within within the environment. So it because will... then you have the the chest hugger that pops out, does the little dance with the cane and the hat, and then yep. that that the face hugger cocoons itself, and that then becomes the alien. No, the face hugger what? deposits the egg or whatever into the host, and then the alien pops out of the host. Oh my god, that's way too many steps. That is ridiculous. So you have a face hugger, lays an egg in a host, chest yep. burster comes out, leaves behind a like the like the outer body. We saw like he shed his skin or whatever. Right, but then and he, he pops yeah, he into another host. Do so you need two hosts? No, no, not at all. It pops out and then oh. it grows. No, no, no. But like the face hugger gets host one. Correct. Chest burster. Now you need a second it, host. No, you don't need a second host. Where are you getting this from? Well, that's what I was saying. The chest burster becomes the alien, right? It cocoons up. 
it cocoons yeah like yeah, yeah. so it comes out as a yeah. chest burster and then right. we saw it cocoon up in this movie and then grow right, right. but it that's doesn't need saying. another host it doesn't need that's another what i'm host. saying just, but you were saying yeah. the chest burster has to go into another host no no i never said that no 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 no, no. okay all right no. that's not so bad then still crazy um yeah so i love the alien franchise i really want to go back and watch all of them now to just yeah. just see prometheus takes place before all of this it does it must because then you have the black goo in this one that they like retroactively added in i was there was a sequel I was like i don't know if i remember this or like this as much prometheus yeah yeah i don't think you liked prometheus because it wasn't no i did at all. It i did we did like i did it. like okay. i did like prometheus oh, okay. but i'm like i'm like comparing it to romulus now and i'm like mm-hmm. hmm I don't know. Did I see the sequel to Prometheus, which was called Alien Covenant? They like gave up on the Prometheus branding. They did, and then they decided to confuse us all with these um, engineers that weren't engineers. But what? I'm confused. Yeah, Just it was confused. no. It was a very it was a very wild movie. Like it was like yeah. trying to get back to that horror mm-hmm. portion of things. And uh... see, I said the word. I said horror. It's a hard word to say. Horror, mm. horror, because yes. you had the horror house. No, <laughs> yes. Think, even, yes, horror famously, house. yes, my poor son yes. who uh, who the grabbed Zuru Zuru's horror latest house. horror house <laughs> and horror is going house. through Walmart going, it's a yeah. horror house. It's the biggest horror house there is. Someone's going to overhear you, your kid saying that. They're going to call the rural juror on you and get the I am, away. I am 100% worried about my kid yeah. going back to school and being like, I got a horror house. I went to a horror yeah, house. I, got, I went to the horror house. <laughs> <laughs> Your, my dad we turned the target and got the he's, he house. literally he's what? he's literally at the dinner table at my father's and my mom's mm-hmm. and going papa you ever been seen a whorehouse you ever, Have seen? You ever seen one oh, they got him started, at walmart he starts answering candidly he's like well back in the 60s <laughs> he's like wait a minute you're a child and this is my uh, family dinner not proper not appropriate <laughs> All right, well, we'll talk more about the whorehouse when we come back, but I want to take a quick break, and uh, I guess I'll leave their shirt on. Why not? It'll be confusing to have two different shirts. But... All right, what we'll is... be right back. All right, so earlier we were talking about this He-Man fan film Kickstarter, and I found I found the tweet, and it's called Fall of Grayskull, Rise of the Horde. And do you know who plays, you know who plays He-Man? I guess this is a sequel, so they already did one. Do you know who played uh, He-Man in that? Dolph Lundgren, Dolph Gong. No, that was the original movie. This is the uh, fan oh. film. The He Man is being played by Brian Cage, who is a professional wrestler, who uh, can never wrestle <laughs> anywhere they test for steroids because just oh. just unbelievable. The craziest thing about this guy is if you find a before photo, you would never believe. You would never believe that it was the same human being. It is unbelievable what science can do to the to the human body talk forget about your black goo from from alien yeah T, what is some... it? to testosterone or whatever like yeah. all the the cool H-G-H. athletes are taking yeah human gore- it's, not, it's not yeah. it's not a, a steroid it's fine it's fine yeah just little baby embryos or something i don't know right huh <sighs> So, um, I saw a list on social media. Are you clicking a pen or something? You gotta stop. No, I'm playing me. with He Man's arm. I'm you sorry. Gotta, you gotta throw it away. You gotta throw it away. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm fidgeting. No, I'm sorry. I'm just. It's fine. I'll get you a, a quiet fidget toy, like one of those pop the poppets. Those are nice. I need to get excited here. You can get, I know. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get excited. Um, I saw a list on Twitter this week: the least attractive male hobbies, and the number one. Least attractive male hobby is video games, which pretty much just eliminates a, a good portion of the uh, population there. I think most people yeah. play video games at this point. But the number two least attractive male hobby, collecting figurines. Now, well, the I fact mean, that they I'm use that term. That because, I know. Yeah, these right? are not figurines, sir what? or madam. <laughs> A Russian yeah. bot that made this, this list. Yeah, figurines. No what? Figurines. What, what? What? What in the name of Chat GPT uh, is this? Be, Who calls it that? Be, Did my mom just go write this over list? To my, my grandmother's mantle. My grandmother's <laughs> mantle. Mantle. <laughs> figurines. Stay away from. Stay away from your grandmother's figurines. Have you ever the priceless called priceless family heirlooms? 
Have you heard have people I call ever... them figurines? You know, it sounds like they're made of I... ceramic. That does. It's, it it gives them a le- a level of fragility. I yes, feel like absolutely. calling them figurines a little bit more figurines. fancy. Uh, what are the, what fancy. is that new thing going fancy around? Fancy it's very, very, very demure. Very, very, uh... very demure. Look at my hair. Very demure. My figurines. Yes. Look at my figurines. Yes. They're very demure. My figurines. Very good. <laughs> yes. Uh, just to just to give this some context, the number three least attractive male hobby: magic tricks. Now, I, thought, I, I think we can I, all get on board with that. <laughs> I think we can all. If you're a magician, good luck, sir. <laughs> you I have mean, to I be. Think, yeah. I think, I think, what was it, the number five? I feel like the number five is like, is it, why is it even a hobby at that point? <laughs> number four is online trolling. Oh, that's the which, number four. That's what I meant. Not the online trolling. What, it's like. What? You know, I enjoy uh, riding my bike. I like uh, archery. And uh, online trolling is what I'm ah, saying yes. is my hobby. Yes. Now, right. When it's time to line that like... date up. That's not a hobby. That's just why a... Would you put, why would you put that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a he's an online troll. Oh, he can snatch that one up. Oh Lock God. that down. He's an online... Oh, he's an online troll? He's much better Ooh. than those figurine collectors. I'd rather oh take the God. online troll over the figurine I'll... collectors. Ho, ho. Any day of the week, I'll take an online oh troll God. over a figurine collector. Good God. As long as he's not a gambler. What? What if he gambles <laughs> on magic tricks while playing video games? Oh. oh well, is God. he at least good at gambling? I feel like... Is anyone know. good at gambling? I feel like the only good gambler is one that says, like, you know what? I don't need this. I don't need to. I'll just make money, like normal way on my merit I feel, not like, I feel like guessing the, i feel like the figure hobbyist guess. thing that comes out later in the dating like you don't like i, I think you lead off on that and be like oh what do you do what are your hobbies it's like oh i collect toys uh. i think you got to put those cards on the table right away this is the thing right away this is the thing we're both you know we're both married we will probably we always are. be married you know hopefully probably probably i mean probably you know things happen but probably yeah. We were out of the dating pool before, like, this whole online revolution started. Like, we never got to experience what it was like to do, like, the dating apps. And yeah, I will never. say, I think I would have been great on on dating apps. Like, I can make fun photos. I can, like, because, like, I grew up on the yeah. AOL days. Like, so, like, typing, you know, like, being very clever. <laughs> I could be very mm-hmm. clever through text. I think I'd I probably be very good at misrepresenting apps. myself 100% yes. of the time. You know? Oh, that, yes. We'd be very good at pretending to be people who are not, yes. Um, yes. But, no, I think that if you, like, if, we, you know, if it's us and this is the life that we have chosen for ourselves. I feel like you kind of, kind of put those out that co- those cards on the table like, very soon because sure. you want to just like, you don't want to waste any time. Cause if they're going to be no. like totally turned off by the fact that you collect figurines that you kind of need to know. Cause there's no, like you're not going to change their mind. They need to be open to that right away. And if they're not, if they're sure. totally closed off to collecting figurines, then there's, you have no shot. You have no shot. No. At least that's what I think. I don't know. I feel bad. I feel bad for you, son. I feel bad for the figurine collectors who have to to date. That they have to, because there's that's like it's very it's very high risk, high reward hobby. Because I think that if you hear about that, you can very quickly make assumptions about a person. You can. Or you shoot so you horn. May, yeah, like, I just like the four-year-old like your virgin. Wife, your wife kind of always things. loves Harry Potter, so you just buy sure. her Harry Potter things all the right. time. She's asked me to stop that. She has enough. Harry yeah, Potter. please stop. Yeah, please stop. Yeah, but I feel like coming in into the game with uh, collecting figurines, I think you are at a disadvantage because there just probably are fewer women who would be accepting of that. Now, I don't, you know, I don't know what the current current dating pool is. Maybe. Maybe mm-hmm. women are more accepting of that. I mean, looking at our our TikTok friends, there's not a lot of women. There's not a lot. There's a couple. No. <laughs> there's not few. a lot. There's a few. If you look at it shows us the, like the statistics of like who's watching our videos. It's a very right. small piece of the pie that, that is what do the you female. Think, do you think now what do you think what do you think the baseline is for if you're saying yes i collect figurines what do you mm-hmm. think the mind goes right to when they say figurines do you think do you think that the person 
solely collects like Funko Pops? Do they go? What do they think? I don't. Okay, so if the if you're a Funko Pop collector, that's a whole other ball of wax. It is because you have your own issues. Because you can be a Funko collector and not collect any other action figures or collectibles. Sure. Like that has become its own category. So I feel like you would not even say you're a figurine collector. You would say I collect Funko Pops, and that either is better or worse depending on the person you're saying that to. If you say I'm a figurine collector, I think the mind immediately jumps to just I think maybe Star Wars. Like what is what that's a good question though. Like what do you think if someone says they collect figurines? Like what is that what do you immediately assume that they collect? Oh, you know, I would you wouldn't think like Barbies say, or like you dolls. You wouldn't like, think Barbies. You'd think, I mean, you'd you'd go into that into that realm of like, well, what do you think is popular? And yeah, probably Star Wars would be up there. Yeah, I mean, no one would be like, yeah, Ghostbuster toys or like, right, generic action figures, maybe. Something Maybe you like think that. if I you have know. like siblings, you think about like what they have because you're like, oh, you collect like right. Paw Patrol or <laughs> like, no. <laughs> yeah, no, you immediately yeah. go to that. Or you know what? Maybe now it's like the, the like the Japanese store in the mall. Oh, do you collect like those like basically naked women, Japanese women dolls oh, or yes, like, like the figurines? Like maybe yeah. that's what people think. Be like, no, Which I collect little figurines of of of, I can... of trick or treaters <laughs> of children dressed in. What old are you costumes. talking about? And <laughs> nothing and, weird. And nothing antique weird. Antique Rugrats from back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> what else? I I do feel like retro is so popular now that maybe it's understandable, regardless of what it is. Because if, if you can say, like, oh, I collect things that I had as a kid, you that's yeah. kind of cool, right? But I guess if you're younger, God, it's different. I don't, know. I don't know either. It's tricky. Like this you would said, be a tricky I, age we, to we date weren't, we weren't as a equipped. figurine collector. Yeah, we, we, we lucked out in the age that we began to date and yes, found, yes. found true love. So. True. true, true, true. Yeah. We are good. We never have to experience it. I, I listen to... Mm-hmm. My wife works with a lot of single people, single men, um, in fact, and I get to hear it's not great. sometimes it's the not tales, great. the oh, tales yeah. of and tri- trials and tribulations mm-hmm. of of what these gentlemen have to go through. And some of them sure. might be a little too picky and some of them just aren't bringing their A game or there's just one deficiency mm-hmm. that they're not confident about. But I have to hear about it from my wife, obviously, because... All Do the they all have to go to on a reality show now, like Love Island or one of those? Like, is that how no, Love is Blind? No, think... Is that how? Is that just like how people interact now? They go on a reality show. God, I don't even know. Them, it seems like it. It seems like everyone gets a chance if they want. I feel like I mean, like I said, you and I, we grew mm. up without all this digital stuff, so we just know how I to know. talk to people. Well, and I think that throws a lot of people off because it gives yeah. this air of confidence like i don't need to hide behind a screen to be like look at me and look at my well t- well turned up hair and haircut andrew i don't need that andrew uh <laughs> well i will i will say i do i you you met your you met your wife in person correct i did yeah i found mine on craigslist so it, it was a little different i see i was yeah. on i was like i was an early adapter of internet dating because there were no apps you had to go on craigslist and hope that there were no murders. You weren't going to get murdered? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was not concerned about being murdered. I the, the the women probably were concerned that I would murder them. Okay. And no, I, no murders were committed. It's, you just had to be really good at, like, you got one email. This is how Craigslist worked. It was it, the email address was like a fake email and it would reroute yeah. them. You had one shot. You, <laughs> it's like Eminem song. You, you one shot. You write your email. It had to be, you know, interesting enough that they responded and then you could reply. And then, because then they would have to use so their real email to respond to you. Yeah. Right. So I was good at the one, the one message to get response. I'm always a big fan of what my wife originally thought of me when someone mm-hmm. said, well, What do you think of Bill? And she said, Creepy. And I was like, Creepy. Yeah. Great. When did you meet her? I met her. Did you? <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> Were you introduced or like you saw her just randomly? I saw her and was immediately intrigued. Well, there you go. That's a good story. And I said to myself, well, you're 25. 
and you were a similar age. It's not like you're 40 now and you're saying that. Just to clarify. That's true. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. I was 25. I've known no, my wife for 15 nobody, years. I don't want to. You've known your wife for what? 16, right? Yeah, just about the. Yeah, not more than that. I was still in college. Was 2007. Okay. So do that math. I'll do it real quick. I can't. I it's can't do that math. 24. No, months. it's not. That's crazy. That can't be right. It's not right. It might be. 07? No, it's not. 07. Let's do the math. 17 years 2024 ago. is the current 17 year. 17 years ago. 2007 is the last time. 17 years. 17. Yeah, 17, 17 years. And we've been married two years. Happy anniversary. No, longer Congratulations. Than at, least yeah. at least 10. Going on 15? I don't know. We're always I trying to plan. Know. We're always like, the next big anniversary, we'll do a Disney cruise. And then huh. it's like, we're poor. Or it's the pandemic. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Never works out. We have kids. What are we going to do with the kids? Oh, big news on the Disney front. I am proud to announce. Well, I guess maybe I shouldn't officially do this because it hasn't happened yet. But we are planning to become Disney pass holders once again. But wow. we're going to do the we're going to do the cheap way. We're going to do the weekday tickets, which is literally half the cost of doing the next oh, tier. Wow. So it's like we'd be stupid not to do this. Because I I just want to start going by myself like randomly and like go hang out in in uh, Jakku or whatever the Star Wars planet is called there. Batu, Batu. Yes, thank you. Bless you, Gazoon tight. So uh, I'm gonna start a whole new whole new like video show where it's just me wandering yeah, around. Just like be, Conan be one did of those his, guys. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna be like I'll do live streams from the parks. Yeah, I have all there these ideas. Go. I'm going to do a whole, it's going to be a whole thing. Because I was asking on the, the Disney Parks Reddit today if you're allowed to bring yeah. in a tripod. And they said, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, really? You could just bring a whole friggin' tripod into the park? They don't care? Because you can't bring Forget selfie about, sticks because they you thought you would like those. kill yourself on the, the Matterhorn or whatever, the Space Mountain. Sure. But tripod's okay. Well, that's exciting for you. I, uh... I'm excited for that. Oh. So if you ever come down again on the weekday, get oh, to go hang yeah. out. We'll do a special remote Very... from Bat- Batu. There we go. We should do that. Just set up shop shop right there and like we need you guys to leave. Be like, no, we're doing a show. Yeah, it's like you can stay, but please be quiet. We're recording a show. Bring like two chairs yeah. out. <laughs> set it up <laughs> just like this. Bring our mics and, and computers and everything. No, yeah. we'll go set up in the. Uh, we'll go set up where they have the Ronto wraps. There's a. There's oh. some nice table. There's some nice tables yeah. there that like overlook the Millennium Falcon. We can just do it. That's there. nice. Yeah. Yes. Coming yeah. to you live from an undisclosed location in the galaxy. You know what we can do? It's the we Reluctant get... Adult Podcast. Whoa! Well, I have a new name for this. What, what I'm going to call this special. I'm going to. It's going to be. It's going to be all new branding specifically for this. So I'm excited about. That. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, speaking of doing your shows, um, Greg, our 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 good friend, comedian Greg. What's his last yeah, name? Your new your new buddy, Greg. New buddy. Greg Smith. Greg Stone. Greg, Greg Stone. He uh he would lo- he wants to come on with us again. And so this week, hopefully, he was saying like he's on the road, so he doesn't know like if the Wi-Fi. <laughs> And in, in, in the like hotels are gonna be good, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try to get another episode with him going. Oh, um, good! They're always yeah. good. I always unleash my potty mouth. Funny. Well, right. It's like it because it's like he gets to run the show. We can just kind of sit back and like you know fill in. I'm yeah. I'm I'm trying to think of what we want to talk about for this new one. I feel like we should delve more into like the the minds of the collectors and like our common like trials and tribulations growing up as i i feel like i feel like we should just take that list from because that's the most energized i've felt we should just take that top 10 list oh of, the least attractive male hobbies list of least attractive male hobbies and oh, just make that a whole run it hour down. yeah okay run it down. all right there you I go i think that's that's think a good that's idea i think yeah. that's a good idea that's really good maybe we can get uh the chick-fil-a network to pick up our new show have you heard that? That they're going to have their own TV network, Chick-fil-A? No. Is Gina going to be there? Gina. Oh, she. Yes. They, I think she's gone. Have they? What happened? I said, I think she's gone. I think. Oh, I think, think she's gone. gone. I'm sorry. I thought you. Well, she went to school. Like, I think she's gone to school. Well, my question was, was Chick-fil-A accepting of her? Did they embrace her as a Chick-fil-A extension? No, I think they, let, they, it, I think they let her go. It? I think they should. Well, think the restaurant, where like the actual location asked her to go away because it was too yeah, distracting leave. <laughs> to yeah. the, the, the actual people eating there. 
Yeah. I haven't seen, I mean, she got way more than the 15 minutes she should have gotten. So fair enough. Because she had yeah, nothing. She wasn't a comedian. I she just did faces. Like it wasn't just funny. Just a couple faces. And it's it still, I, it's still it was, there was nothing there. But she, you know, the algorithm was really pushing her content for a while. So it was. What is like at the top thing on TikTok right now that it's pushing towards us? The demure. Um, I'm not getting too much of that though. Yeah. No, I'm not getting think of anything a lot of that. that's like there's not like a current person. I saw that video where, where uh, what's his name? The the, not, the guy that's trying to be a wrestler, but he's like he got the fake Pokemon cards. <laughs> Paul something. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh yeah, Jake, Jake Paul's the... brother. What's his name? I don't know. I remember that name. Jake. Damn, Paul's I can't think of his brother? name. Something Paul. Paul Logan. Logan, Logan Paul. Paul. There it is. Logan that's embarrassing. Paul. He's, he's so famous that I couldn't think of his name. <laughs> There's like a video, like an old video where they're on a boat and his dog jumps off and people okay. were saying that he pushed the dog and tried oh, to like no. put him through the motor. And like, you I don't know. You can never do that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if if I House feel... of the Dragon taught us anything, it's don't abuse the dog. House of Dragon? What with the dog? House of the Dragon. What? The rat catcher that. kicks the dog in one episode. Oh, I think I was playing. I think Fortnite in the season in the season premiere, he kicks the dog, and everyone was like, oh, "Shame on you, sir!" And it was like a fake kick, and then the dog was kick. like the star throughout the whole show because he kept showing up. Oh my god, I missed all of that. Really? <laughs> I did. I was See? not locked in this season. I was playing Fortnite. You're like you're like my wife, who's just like, "What's going on?" And she's in front of a screen. It's like, how can you well, watch she, things like my that? My wife wanted to watch it, and I just was not excited. But I wasn't going to say don't watch it. It was a very boring it. season. It's a very I, it boring was, season. It was just a bridge season to the next one because then it's like the next season's going to be the battle. It's like, why do we even but have like, this season? Nothing happened. It was like Bastard it was two. Epi- it was reduced. It was reduced to by two episodes. Oh my there god! Were gotta stop. Budget budgetary things the writers strike they had laid every little every little excuse that you could think of yeah going for this season they're like oh well there was the writer strike and then there was the actor strike and then there was the strike oh and remember the pandemic was still a thing and it takes 18 the months pandemic. to put these things out ooh, ooh, ooh. lord yeah Boring. another two years for the next next it was all there's like all, all these talk. other game of thrones spin-offs they're talking about I'm yeah like, I, think, I think we can move on from this i don't think it's not that exciting. I've never been excited by like knights and stuff. Like that's just it's no. not my wheel. I want the dusty buttons on the Nostromo, like that that eighties version oh, of yeah. the future. That's what I want. Set me there, I'll be happy. Give me that theme I'm park. Still... Is there an alien theme park anywhere? Like in Dubai? They sometimes they have like the Looney Tunes or like the DC. I mean, I Where do really they have the just DC feel theme like... park? What country is that? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. It's probably Dubai. It's always Let's go to Dubai. Dubai. I like I like the idea that like you literally go to any yard sale and get like half the crap that's in an alien movie, and like True. just pretend with it. Yeah. You know what's he we doing? Make He's got an inch sketch. We should. I just love the buttons that light up. I just that, and then the sounds, the little click sounds of things activating. Yes. Oh Everything's my god! Like a dial up. It's my aesthetic. Oh, oh, I love it. That's the best. Never change. Yes. That's why people didn't accept Prometheus because it was a little too polished. They had like it was so polished. Well, someone didn't said someone had mentioned that it was the cast was too hot as well. Mm. Yeah, and, and we that's weren't following why, like a that's ragtag why it didn't group. Work exactly. Yeah. They weren't like they weren't like the everybody's. They were like the no the main, one of the main characters was like a trillionaire trillionaire yeah. bitch. <gasps> like her character or in real life? No, her character. Oh, okay, I was like, there's some. It was like, oh. there's like an actress who's like the the heir to the the ketchup fortune, but she gets to act too. It's like that's unfair. oh yeah. <laughs> if yeah. you're if you're a billionaire, you don't get to like have other fun jobs. Just go be a billionaire. Let other people have these acting jobs. Mm-hmm. Speaking of acting jobs, um, Hasbro PulseCon, they're starting to roll out the announcements. They have a date that I don't recall off the top of my head. But the toy hunter Jordan Pembro, no, Jordan Hembro, Hembro, uh, tweeted yep. that he is going to be hosting also. I guess they didn't they didn't tell us that there was gonna be a third host, so also, oh wow. It, it'll so be they're nice. Still, they're still looking for for 
some hosts. That's fine. Is there going to be more than three? It's going to be a crowded green room with all of us in there. I don't know. Who do we... Oh, yeah. Who do we got? Well, who was it last year? It was... It was, it was Dan uh, Larson. Not pic- and... It was not Pixel Dan. It was, it was Dan, Dan Larson. Larson and... and then uh, Transformers friend. I'm sorry. I'm not... I'm not... A, I just don't follow the Transformers. I forget Stubbs? your name. Stubbs? Stubbs? No, not Stubbs. J Stubbs? No, that's from Twitter or TikTok. I'm sorry. I don't know your name. It's I okay. follow you now. Oh, I'm well, fall- needless to say, oh. Jordan Wait, Hembro. I the, feel the bad. I feel bad. I don't. Oh, I'm going to look it up. You look it up. Because it was this like... Is... It was like Paul hard to wait on the internet. I just Googled Hasbro Pulse host and like the AI said, Jordan Hembro is a host for Pulse events, including PulseCon 2024. It doesn't even mention us. It's like we're not even hosts this year. What's going on? Friday, September 13th, starting at 1 p.m. Thu Adams. Thu. He even got first Sorry, billing Thu. over Dan. Thu. Thu. It's hard to say. I feel like Donald Duck when I say Thu. Oh, Donald Duck. He was on The Hot Ones, which is that show where they interview people eating hot hot chicken wings, yeah. which immediately is a little cannibalistic, yeah? A duck eating chicken wings? Like, that's wait, pretty car- that's so too is close. It, wait, was it a cartoon? Well, here's the thing. Donald Duck was a cartoon. It was like a Roger Rabbit situation. So he sat down, and then the host, yeah, uh, Sean Evans... He was he was uh-huh. not animated. He was just his normal self. But obviously, this had to be scripted because it wasn't That's a like stupid. They're not thing. using like a- AI to do live That's live so, Donald Duck. So stupid. It was it was not the best. That's it it went exactly the way like Mickey Mouse came in at the end and gave Donald some milk because yeah. you know no, that's, that's the role dumb. that Mickey Mouse plays. That's dumb. I I don't know who they thought like this. Definitely didn't. Now I've always been a big fan of Donald. This Duck. is just catering to those disney adults and they're like oh, see i don't even that. think i can get i don't the even same think hot it is. sauce that donald duck duck lost his shit over yay so i was i've always been yay. a fan of donald duck i always felt akin to him you know he's white he gets angry all the time like i just felt this kinship to him but i don't okay. think that donald duck has been represented appropriately in modern media i feel like he could be a big deal for this current generation and they're just not using him to his fullest so okay. at least they tried. They actually, well, I watched a little bit of it. They had a couple of funny things. They asked him uh, what his relationship with Darkwing Duck is. So that's yeah. nice. It's nice that they're, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Where it you're wasn't going great. With this. It no, wasn't great. It wasn't sound great. great. God, they're, it's, it's not. It wasn't as good as the Conan one. The Conan one, I think they should have retired on that. I don't think this format can continue anymore. We should do an episode. Where we're just eating hot food. No, no one needs to see that. You wouldn't last. How much hot food do you like? Do you like hot food? I do. I put um, what's the hot sauce that has the little wooden ball on top? You know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, that yeah. I love that. Chalola. Chalula. Chalola. Chalola. That stuff Chalola. ain't that hot. I put that you need shit to get on e- everything. You need to get like an extract or something like that. I'll send you down some stuff. It's like one little drop of it ruins your whole meal. That was delicious. I'll save yes. that for my favorite meal. <laughs> yeah. Why would you? I don't need it to. I don't need like. I'm. The goal was not to not be able to eat it. I just like the extra flavor. Listen, oh. I grew up in a house where I was lucky if my food got seasoned with salt and pepper. <laughs> like this is a whole new world that's opened up to me. Like having flavor yeah. in my food. My God, my mom used to put pepperonis on the lasagna. Like it was not a, uh, not a, <laughs> was t- yeah. So that's that's where I'm at. Give me that chalola. Okay. Put that on whatever. There you go. You just like the taste there of that. Go. I'm a big fan of Puppet Master. I like the movies. You are. At least one of them. At least, at least one of them. The other one's not so great. Uh, a couple things with Puppet Master this week. They're doing dolls, some like plushies. I think it's probably NECA that's doing that. I saw Blade. Sure. Fun. And I don't know who the other one was flamethrower guy maybe torch torch and then there's a free to play game on steam where you can play wow. as the puppets trying to take down a human or you can play the human trying to take down the puppets and oh. the graphics look about as what you uh, look pretty much like what you would expect from a free game 
but it's free. Aren't they? So. Isn't NECA or somebody doing some plussed up versions of the dolls themselves? Like, I thought I, I saw seen, a six shooter. I've not seen that. I would love that. Like, a highly that. detailed six shooter figure no. recently. If you find that, if please I find it, it I will send I've it along to you. I've not seen that. Yes. Yeah, I would, I, I would love. Has anyone. So, I have the 12 inch blade that Full Moon put out back in the day. But I don't think they did other characters because they would have to like tool different bodies. Like Blade's just a generic like G.I. Joe body, basically. Oh, sure. So I would love some high end. I mean, not too high end. <laughs> if, no. it's, if I'm going to uh, buy I it, will, it's got to be kind of cheap. Will f- I will find the photo. It's not like Mondo's okay. putting it out and charging $280 oh, forget it. for it. Mondo has a company endeared themselves and then completely alienated their fan base faster than Mondo. I feel like I was on the Mondo train and now yeah. I'm like, I don't even want, I'm going to put a, a filter on my, my Twitter feed so I don't even see their announcements. I'm so mad at them. Mondo. Still waiting on those free samples. You'll get them someday. I don't think I will. Uh, especially now we're gonna start bad mouthing <laughs> bad mouthing them every t- chance we get and that's why we're not hosting pulse uh, because they what are you always talking go about? we're safe- hosting it they- ah, we are ah, ah, i don't think we are i'm not giving up hope there's still time it's not september yet they don't like Next us because we're too real paul they, they go with these safe bets that are positive <sighs> about everything i do feel like that's probably yeah i feel it. you know yeah, come on man the kids the kids love us i don't though. i the don't even know us. i was thinking to myself i was like jordan hembro how relatable is he who is he relatable to like no one he what, is what's he what tried 14 year old so tiktok hard. user is like mm, jordan hembro yes he tried so hard to how be about the those two guys who are terrible figures. at podcasts they're awesome what are you talking about we I'm are just the reading the comments we have the we are best, best audio i know we have the best audio <laughs> The highest yeah, we quality do. video. Get out hey, of here. We do, we, are, we do fine. Don't even worry about it. I'm um, not worried. Jor- Jordan Embro, he really wanted to be the face of action figures or toys in general. He had that show he did. that you he know did. It's fake, but every reality show is fake. Right. And then he kind of went away, but I guess they just think that like if you Google like action figure personalities, he's still like the most high high profile guy that's out there doing stuff. We just got to uh, get our name out there, but yeah. I mean, well, we just got to get on a network. We got to get on the Chick-fil-A network. We got to work. We go. Maybe we work Jesus into our show a little bit more Then Chick-fil-A will pick us up. We, <laughs> which top 10 list that we top 10 are uh, top 10 action figures that we thank Jesus for go. Oh. Here is the Donald duck from the dollar tree. Donald duck duck. Look at that. Yep. Dollar tree had a ton of good stuff. Look at these $1 ducks. He's the these Rancor Power Keeper, Ranger, not some yeah. sums. Oh, he's the Rancor Keeper. Look at this. These were a dollar. What else do I love? Brock Lesnar from Ollie's for fifteen dollars. I know he's a can't sex monster, but that. can't beat that price. <laughs> I got this from Ross Digimon. Remember Digimon? It was it was not as popular as Pokemon, but like it's wow. kind of cool. It's very highly articulated. You sound articulated. desperate right now. <laughs> articulated. Desperate. Desperate for this. <laughs> Here's Marty McFly as a soda, but then also How do you have all these just Marty McFly your... as a duck, as a mini duck from Five Below. Look at that. That's, That's so a tiny. lot of Marty McFly. He's so tiny. I love the little mini ducks from Tubbs. Send us them. Oh, and the the number one item that we thank Jesus for a whole test tube full of little ducks. Because why Man, not? You went Below, ducking crazy. Oh my God. Ducks are a big deal where I work, so I'm trying to like, think of something for to days. do. Ducks for days. Ducks for days. I'm sorry. Here's a honorable mention. The dog from GI Joe. Look at that good boy. Look, Look at, at that, that boy. Look wow. at that good boy. Look at that. That's all I got. That's all I got. That's okay. all I got in I me got for nothing. the day. You got okay. nothing. No. Oh, how about baby Jesus? There's baby Jesus. That's what we should do. What do you just have like a box Stop. of loose figures there? This is my desk. My desk is littered. <laughs> Oh. Have, do you hear this? That's just a, a pile, a literal pile of things. Oh MJF my. with his robe. Show and tell. What else I got? This wasn't even supposed to be a show and tell show. Winston's arm. Myself. Winston's Look arm from the fright this features. Is, 
This is that He-Man arm that I wasn't allowed to play with because Paul said it was annoying him. It was clicky. I didn't want to hear it. Here's my pop. There's my pop. My my pop myself. Oh, yeah. I wonder how those are doing. I still miss the selfie series. I can bring that back. Well, that was exciting. See, we got the energy up. It just took an hour or so. You want to start the show over again? We do it from do the it top? Over? No. Just do the whole show? Oh, <laughs> You know what? I don't even want to mention this. We did a video last week about De- Bo DeMaio and why yeah. he got fired from X-Men. His lawyer did put out a statement, and I think just in the, the interest of fair, free, you know, f- fair time, we'll, we'll, I'm going to read his lawyer's statement, okay? Okay. Quote, my client never sent lewd videos or and photos to his direct direct reports. This is a bald faced lie and defamatory. It's it's deflamat is it defam defamatory or deflammatory? I don't, I don't think it's deflammatory. Oh, it is defamatory. Defam- All right. It's I thought there was an L, like you were flaming. <laughs> flaming. No. That's like how I mispronounce souvenir and I always pronounce it with an L. Souvenir Blanc. How do you pronounce it? I always Sou- pronounce it. Sylvaneer, and it drives my wife Sil- nuts. Sylvaneer? No, Sylvaneer. Sylvaneer? No, that's very right. It's souvenir. Souvenir. But, but for whatever reason, it's just one of those words that I think my mother also pronounces it Sylvaneer. So I pronounce it Sylvaneer, and then I've got my wife who goes, "It's pronounced souvenir, you dumb fuck." But <gasps> what a potty mouth! I got into I a Facebook fight with your your mom this week. You did. That was did enjoyable. You see? Did you see it? I, I got all the screen captures. I got everything. <laughs> the funny thing is, so it's like she's in this group for the town I used to live in because you know we she lives there. I used to live there, and uh, you know Ma- Massachusetts politics. It's different down here in Florida. Sure. Um, uh, I, my comment. She she started the thread. She was talking about like I inflation, don't know anything was, like, about any of it. <laughs> She was talking about inflation. So I made a comment about, like, the government doesn't control inflation. It's not like it's the cost of gas, which is ironic oh. because the government does not control the cost of gas. But that's one of the things that people is like, ah, Joe did this. So anyways, I said that, okay. and then people started commenting, and then she's like, it's like, you never took uh, economics in school? Well, it's like, I don't think they offered it. I don't think I did. I, di- I definitely did not. Okay. But I do know yeah. that the government does not directly control inflation because yes. it's a world then, inflation. U.S. is actually not you better than the rest of the world. It, she made it known that she knew you, and I was like. It's funny. I did. I kind of thought it might be her because the first name is her name, but then the last name is not the name I'm familiar with. So it's like part sure. of me thought this might be Bill's mom <laughs> saying this, but I'm like, I, this is still funny. So I'm going to type it. Uh, I but I think in the okay. end it was fine. We all, we all had a good laugh. Nope. No, yeah. No, as long no, as no, I, no feelings didn't, I didn't really hear good. any repercussions. She wasn't, at least she wasn't up super late at night arguing and then having an impact her next day. At that point uh, we'd have a words call. We'd I be like, Oh bad. dude. But you'd still have to agree with me because I was I was right. So she lost so much sleep over arguing with your friend. <laughs> I was just I like, oh bad. god, I would feel bad. Her her big her big thing was like, what's he even doing on this on this page? I know, I know. I just like the I told you I like to keep tabs. It's like the yeah, hospital shut down. They're mad at the yeah. the governor because the birth certificates just say partner instead of like father and or they say it doesn't say doesn't say mother and father what? anymore it says like parent and other pa- parent who gave birth oh. and other parents is what the okay. birth certificate says now. which i agree is kind of weird but also you know you gotta evolve with the times it's still technically accurate anyway anything else there's a lot but whatever <laughs> oh let's mention this Secret Galaxy Con coming October 20th, Manchester, New Hampshire. Only $5 admission. You got to go see that. You can see uh, Dan Larson, the aforement last year's host. Last year's host of PulseCon will be hosting Secret Galaxy Con right down the road from you, Bill. You're going to go? Has he asked you to do a a panel yet? He hasn't reached out, but maybe he should. I think we need to. I don't. He might not know you're so close. So you maybe just. Oh, you saw him at, at. at Chris Whatever Con, Con last year. Chris Con yeah, last Chris year. Con, yeah. yeah. Is this taking the place of Chris Con? Is it like a rotating I don't believe Con? So. No. Well, it's not. But there's the no Chris Con this year, right? No. Well, well, much to my disappointment. Well, this a, is you know, it's a good better. question. Yeah, it's a one day thing all for Boba five dollars. Yep, you can get your photo taken or photos of his many Boba Fets. Is this like how much will I he charge you for an autograph? Hopefully, nothing. 
one Boba Fett. One half portion. Wouldn't it be interesting, though, if, like, Pixel Dan made a surprise appearance and that's just how Oh, my God. I might have to fly up if that was going to be the case. Both Dan's in one place. That's too much star power. That happened. I mean, that happened a couple weeks ago. They They were in one spot together. Yeah. They did. All the Dan's. The Dan. The Dan Dan machine was rolling through town. The Dan brand. The Dan brand. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, definitely get in touch with him. My father-in-law. I wonder if you could get in free if you bring a Dan or if your name is Dan. That should be the thing. It's like back in the day with Spencer's gifts. If your name was Spencer or gifts, you got a discount. Yeah. Oh, is that like real? We went up, we went up to a, a place called Cheese Louise, and then I was that's like, "That's great! You, I you love got a, that." You got a discount if you got a discount if your name was Louise, but then yeah. I was like, "My kids got like a variation of that name," very and I was Asian. wondering if I could get the discount, but oh, or I didn't did try you for ask. It. No. No, I didn't. No. It was late and it was the fourth of July and I was hot. What if what does that restaurant serve? Their name is Cheese Louise. Grilled grilled cheese. Well, there you go. Very appropriate. Yep. Very appropriate. Grilled cheese. Louise. The, the best grilled cheese in all of New Hampshire. Well, I don't even know how you just lost your video, so good thing we're at the end here. Hey, you're back. Very good. All right. I heard it happen. Kicking that Death Star. I heard you kick it, and it was there. There there you go. There she goes. (laughs) Oh no! All right, Bill. Anything else for this big week? No. No. All right. Very good. All right, everybody. Well, you know what we say. We don't want to grow up, but we already did. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, everyone.